Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Excel transition. You guys already saw what you'll be doing in the preview for this, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Um, obviously, this is an effect on transition made by Excel. He is the original creator of it, and yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve with free presets. And the presets will be free and linked in the description below. But but just saying, you need to be on 60 FPS and you need to have Sapphire plugins to be able to use those effects. Um, a bunch of people have created tutorials on how to download Sapphire on DaVinci Resolve. But yeah, you can just go watch those videos, I guess. And yeah, let's get straight into it. The first thing you're going to need to do is you have to want to find a song where there are two beat drops that are like pretty, pretty close to each other. They don't have to be like a exact number of frames close to each other, but they have to be pretty close to each other. So for, for example, I'm going to be using uh, this song. Uh, Kickback by Lane. Uh, you The two beat drops that are relatively close to each other in this song are here. So it's going to be stop here. Uh, stop. Stop. And then trip in here. So these are around, uh, these are around like eight, uh, or nearly 80 frames apart, or around 60 frames apart. Uh, you just want to be able to find like two beat drops that are relatively close. If you can't do that, it's completely fine. But just like this is like the best way you can do it. And now next we're gonna just drag in our clips. Uh, for the clips, you want to make sure the clip in front isn't like. You want to make sure the clip in front which or the clip that you're transitioning from isn't like messed up or for example you don't want to make you want to make sure it's not like in a pile of loot or something like that uh yeah so this clip i think i'm going to transition from this clip because he's standing still and it's pretty easy to use and then i'm going to transition into this clip so first thing you need to do is you want to find where the so you want to find where the, you want the clip to end. So right here, right here will be a good place to end because uh, you just want to find a place where like the character is very visible or like it's not like for example it's not like this where he's completely in first person. Obviously you don't want to use use that. So for example here. Maybe this would be a good frame. So yeah, right here, let's just use this frame. And we're just going to cut it on this. And then we're going to put the end of the clip onto the first beat drop. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to just want to drag the second clip right behind it. And now comes like the actual transition part. So first thing you want to do is you want to go left one frame on the first clip. So yeah, just one frame. And you're going to take this frame and you're going to go ahead and unlink the clips. You're going to select this frame by itself and you want to make sure that the audio isn't highlighted either and then you're going to go to change clip speed put freeze frame and change now what you're going to want to do is select the frame again and we're going to alt drag hold alt and drag up this creates a duplicate layer and then now you can use this so you just want to uh, go ahead and use this frame and you want to drag it around 80 frames so from here so here here it is two frames i believe one two three okay three frames so we're gonna just drag it like around 80 frames it doesn't have to be completely exact but just around 80 frames so uh 80 frame would be one f one point two one minute and one second and 20 uh, frames so it's gonna be would be right here and we're, we, we're just gonna drag it a little more because our uh, beat drop here is a little late so we're just gonna drag it more and you just want the clip to end like a little bit after the second beat drop which is usually just 80 frames and this is how it's gonna look and that obviously does not look really good right now with absolutely zero effects so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the, this frozen frame clip into two parts so around two thirds of the way through the clip you want to cut it so around here you don't really have to be completely exact it does not matter at all so yeah that's pretty nice now what we're going to do is we're going to drag in an adjustment clip put it above uh put it above this and you're just going to uh, control b and cut it so that it is the size of this clip i mean size of the bottom clip and next you're just going to go into wherever you have your um wherever you have your effects stored 
or wherever you have your download stored you're just gonna go ahead and drag in the camera take shot effect here and you're gonna drag it in and we're just gonna go ahead and connect it really quickly just like that make sure it's connected just like this and then the effect should show up so yeah, that's how it's gonna look that's pretty nice uh, shout out to Distress. He kind of helped me out with some of the parts of the that shake effect. Uh, I did add on a little bit to it, but he was like the original creator of that kind of sh screen pump thing. And next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in a drag in a second adjustment clip, and we're gonna put it right after where the clip split. So like right here, right after the clip splits, right there. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the first frame of the adjustment clip. And we're going to drag in the preset. And the preset we're going to be using here is camera after shot zoom down. Uh, sorry for the names being so weird. I'm not very good at naming things, but you get the point. And we're going to do the same thing and drag it just like that. And then for this, it, you can see it zooms in, zooms in, and then goes down. So obviously that doesn't look good either so next what we're going to do is we're going to add in a polygon so just go ahead and click on media in one and we're going to select polygon right there just like that and then we're going to go ahead and click invert for this so that we can see the character and we're just going to make a really rough mask we kind of want to leave some space with like next to the body how just like how uh, excel does it Just like that and we don't really have to go under the legs and you can see there boom the mask is done now we're gonna go ahead and uninvert it and then you can see the mask and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all these uh, little points things and then you should be on the screen like this we're gonna go up top and we're gonna click on this smooth thing so you're gonna click on that and then boom it's smooth so yeah this is how the it the mask is gonna look and don't even uh, don't try to uh, use a soft edge for this because we're going to be using a drop shadow later so it's going to fix everything so yeah this is how the effect is going to look right now you can see that um this does not look what good whatsoever because behind here is all black and behind it is all black and obviously isn't the clip that is supposed to be behind here and this is pretty much like a glitch for DaVinci Resolve. I'm pretty sure it's only exclusive to DaVinci, but the presets are really weird for this. But a way to counter this and to fix this is we're going to go ahead and select these top, the top and the bottom by holding shift while clicking both of them. I'm going to go ahead and right click on it, create a new compound clip, and then just create. And then now that we have uh, this compound clip, we're going to go ahead and go into Fusion and we're gonna go ahead and drag in the last effect so the last effect is called drop shadow chroma keyer for camera uh camera something and you just drag it in and i'm gonna go ahead and select both of these and then this is how it's gonna look so the chroma keyer gets rid of the black background and the drop shadow is the drop shadow so yeah this is how it's gonna look at the end pretty clean and then it just goes down boom just like that and i hope you guys enjoy this video um if you did i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did just leave a like and subscribe it would help me out a lot i'm trying to reach 7,000 subscribers for a face reveal and yeah that's pretty much